what's good y'all it's kai and we back with another talk to him kai i'm just here to get my shit off and talk my shit to y'all you feel me um my last vlog i dropped you seen i was out in new york just getting in that work doing some photography networking doing what i like to do you feel me but um right now i'm back in colorado um it, i've been home for a few days now I'm out at work right now. I'm about to go get um, my first order. But while I'm working, I just wanted to just talk and vent. You know, I haven't done one of these videos in a minute. So I'm about to just talk and vent to y'all and just get some shit off my chest and see if y'all can relate at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, regular life shit, whatever. But yeah, um, first I just wanted to get into kind of like a little wrap up uh the past what six months of this year so far that we've been in and where i've been at mentally and kind of what i've been experiencing and seeing others experience and just want to give my my opinions on it all and you know what i mean see see what y'all feel if i'm tripping if they tripping if you could relate whatever but I'm not gonna get into specific on whose situation is it, it is. Is it mine? Is it a friend's family member? It, it don't matter about all that. It's just the situation at hand, the principle, okay? And that's really, that's really more so what I'm leaning towards this this episode or this this whatever this video is more so the principle of things. You feel me? And um, that's just that's just where I'm at with it, yo. Like people think they could have all the money they could have more money than you they could they could be working more than you like whatever the fuck they think it is it's not it's never that it's the principle of the situation it's how you react and it's how you going about it and that's that's really where i'm at with shit right now um i had to make a lot of changes myself these past few years because of how i dealt with things um I'm, i reacted with more emotion than than actually thinking before reacting or if not even reacting at all you know what i'm saying so and when you learn and make changes about yourself you start to see those things in other people that they may not see that in themselves you know what i'm saying so i i started to see some things and some people that i had love for that i put a lot of time into the relationship you know at least on my end um and yeah like oh, I'm gonna say, you not crash this car but yeah it's it's mad traffic so i'm about to go the back way so that's really just where i've been these past few six months i've i've been making changes in myself because i made these changes simply because it affected my relationships whether it be business um friends family my lover whoever has been my job it, it how i was mentally it affected that you know what i'm saying so really what i what i've made changes on and what i'm still working on over these these past six months of, the, of this year and some of last year too um is really just more so i'm not always right which means you may not always be right whoever i'm speaking to on the other end of this none of us are ever right sometimes we may be sometimes we may not be but you but it's it's always good to leave room there if there's something to learn you know what i'm saying like and and that's just where i've been at and i've also learned i'm very helpful i i care a lot and I learned that I had to stop assuming that people need my help or want my help and more so wait for them to ask. But I have a little pet peeve with that as well. So my thing is, I have no problem giving all of my resources, all of my tools, all of my information. I just would appreciate and respect if the person on the other end did the same and that's where a lot of my issues tend to come in with people is i fall back because i felt i was 
doing too much and being too much of a you know a annoyance and um pretty much always trying to solve people's problems for them because i see a better way that they're not doing or that they don't see so i fall back and i let them come to me but it's when i offer what i can offer because i've learned to set boundaries too with that i'm gonna fall back and not and not help as much as i would because this person needs to think for themselves as well they need to communicate with me i can't just be assuming assuming and offering and offering and then this person isn't doing what they need to do on their end so you know i think i'm rambling right now but th this is this is pretty much what i'm trying to get at so if if i fall back and somebody contacts me or or says hey i need this favor and i say okay cool keeping in mind that i've set my boundaries and i know what i can offer but what i only should offer and it has to come with something too because i can't just be doing things especially a business service i can't just be doing things off the rip for free especially in today's economy and that's what it is i set my price and that's what it is if your budget doesn't meet my pricing then there's nothing we can do you know what i'm saying but it's just you know that that's for business purposes but if it's just a regular hey i need this favor and i've set my boundaries and i need you to at least meet me halfway to do this and help you and you can't do that i can't continue to beat myself up and that's what i've learned you know what i'm saying i would be the person to be like oh you you can't even come 20 percent. it's okay i'll come the whole hundred i'll come the whole hundred for you I'll do everything I ask you to do plus more in what I need to do. And then, you know, in the end, I'm wondering why this person looks at our relationship this way. Why does this person look at me this way? And it's because of how I, I put myself out there. You know what I'm saying? So, and you'll start to see who's really real and people's true colors when you start to set those boundaries and make those changes. Because a lot of people aren't going to like the new standards to y'all relationship. A lot of people ain't gonna be able to respect the fact that <clears throat> you started to learn to think for yourself and and you know what I mean there's there's things that you need in return in order to do. And it's only be it's only to reserve more energy. And that's what people don't realize. It's never it's never a, a money thing or a, a, a cool thing or cool points. It, it's never that. It's to reserve more energy so I could do more for you. If I use all my energy doing this one thing for you, and then a few days later or hours later you ask for something else and I can't do that, wouldn't you have rather me put in a little bit of effort here, you meet me halfway. I put in a little bit of effort here, you meet me halfway. Now we've accomplished more as a team as opposed to me putting my all into something and I'm not getting that half from you. You feel what I'm saying? And that's really what I've been learning, y'all. That's what I've been paying attention to in my relationships with people. And I'm telling you right now, it's, it's revealed so many true colors. It's insane. It's nasty out here. And it just shows, I'm not gonna say everybody's in it for themselves, but people are in it for who they want to be in it for and they not just in it as a as a good human being and saying you know what whoever you are you you did good for me so boom i'm gonna do my half on return you know and that's really all i'll be asking for from people it, it's it's never it's never about money clout cool points likes follows it's never about none of that shit it's about the principle and respect and just being a good human being and that's what people don't see what we're missing in this world right now that's why everybody feel like they gotta do everything on their own like like nobody's ever gonna win or get to the top and I'm telling you bro if everybody just do their part and put in a little bit of effort shit could go so much further but everybody's wasting all their energy on one thing in one situation and and it's sad bro it's really sad you know and that's really that's really the main thing i've been learning and that's what's been helping me set my boundaries with people and i've been appreciating being by myself and just me and my girl bro like 
it's, it's just been such a blessing because it's like she meets me halfway. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if 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 I need something, I'm going to do what I need to help her help me. That's all it's about. Help me help you. You feel me? Like, it's all about reserving your energy so we could do more for one another. Let me help you with more favors. Let me help you with more projects, but not waste all my energy on this one thing. And I'm not getting the resources I need from you to keep going. You know what I'm saying, y'all? So if 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 if, if I'm if I'm getting on to something, I'm stuttering. But if, if I'm to if I'm hitting the nail on the head for you and your situation, comment down below. Comment down below right now. Am I speaking that am I talking that talk? Or am I just in my head saying whatever? And talk I apologize to, okay? if I'm looking all over. Um I got my phone on this little thing in the car and I'm trying to drive and shit. So I'm trying to look out in your eyes, but my safety is more important right now. So, but yeah, if I'm talking that talk, y'all, comment down below. Talk to him, talk Kai. To him Kai. I'm talking that shit. I'm getting my shit off because I know y'all all going through the same thing. I know a lot of y'all are putting out more than what you're receiving on the other end. And it's not fair. I don't care what nobody says. It's cool once in a blue moon to go 100% for somebody because you know they are incapable of whatever it is. And you don't need nothing in return. But when you get back 100%, I'm going to need you to meet me 50-50. You feel what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with going 100% for somebody. But not all the time. Not all the time. And after you go 100% for somebody... You need to make sure you get yourself back to 100%. So if that means you got to take a day or two off and you people not, you, you know, you're not answering people's calls or text messages, it's okay. Because you just went 100% for somebody who couldn't do it. But you know that when that person is back 100%, they're going to come back and meet you 50-50. It should never be tit for tat. Oh, I went 100 for you. Now you got to go 100 for me and back. It should never be that. It's simply, yo, I got you this one. I got you this time. Now, after I do this, let me get back to 100%. By the time I get back, you'll be back 100 And boom, we could go back helping one another 50-50. One another and it's mad simple. Talk it's mad simple. Okay. But people look at it like, oh, I did this for you. Well, I'm going to take my time with this. And then you still got to come 100% for me because I did 100%. Bruh, if, if your your intention should be genuine when you go in a hundred percent for somebody. You should never be looking for nothing in return. And and that's and that's you know what I mean, and that's where I had to cut my my boundaries with people was because I went a hundred percent at least a hundred times. And I never asked that person, yo, can can you get back to fifty percent? I asked for breaks you know what i mean but i i still find myself going 100 percent for that person or these people i should say you know what i'm saying so and then you find out they not even putting in that effort now they thinking you worth less than what you say you are And again, I'm not talking just money, y'all. I'm talking energy, spirit, like just as a human being, my heart. People think of me as I'm, I'm less than because I give so much. All right, y'all, my video yesterday got cut off. Um, I had to handle some phone calls and stuff, but I'm pretty much back to finish what I was talking about. Um, and to add on to it and all of that. So pretty much it's a new day i had to get my hair right and all that back at work back to the grind back to the to life getting money all of that but um yeah so pretty much what i had to add to what i was saying yesterday is you don't always have to react as much as you want to or as bad as you want to be petty Sometimes it's best to let people just tell on themselves. You feel me? And that's what 
I've been practicing and paying attention to um, just doing this growth journey and healing and all of that good, great stuff. But yeah, it's pretty much just as much as you want to react and be as petty as possible and cuss a motherfucker out they're usually gonna end up telling on themselves, especially if it was some snake shit one day. You know what I mean? Especially if somebody tried to get one over on you. Talk to him, Kai. keep something from you or anything along them lines. They always gonna come to the light. And you wanna know why? Because they have a guilty conscience. They know they fucked you over. And it's eating them inside that they think you found out. They think you know, cause you gonna start moving different. Talk you don't to gotta, him, you don't gotta not react and still pretend and stuff. Nah, you just gonna move different. You know what I'm saying? And they gonna realize that. They gonna realize when you not watching their Instagram stories or you not answering their phone calls or you just more on your time. Yeah. That, that guilty conscience is going to start kicking in. And then they already did some clown shit. They already did some snake shit to go behind your back. So what makes you think they're going to have the balls to be like, yo, I apologize. I know you found out. I know you know I went behind your back. Nah, bro. That guilty conscience is going to eat them alive. And they're going to continue to do more and more dumb shit to show... Yo, I'm telling on myself right now. You know what I'm saying? So, that's really all it is. You don't have to react to nobody. They, it's always going to come to light. And karma is going to do its job. You know what I'm saying? Like, the universe is going to do its job. You just got to continue to put out that good energy that you've been putting out. No matter how hurt you are. No matter how how played you feel. How you feel like damn, I can't, I can't even do this shit no more. Don't, don't get in that mood. Don't get in that mindset and give up. Don't do it because the universe is going to play the game and need to play. You feel what I'm saying? And it's always going to be in your favor. It's always going to be in the person's favor who does nothing but good intentions. Has nothing but good intentions. Does nothing but good to everybody you know what i'm saying so keep being that person as weak as you may feel keep being that person because it's always gonna come to light and these people that went behind your back or or or, or kept something from you when they could have let you know to to you know so you could have avoided being hurt or whatever the case may be just know that that's just gonna eat them alive bro That shit is going to eat them the fuck alive. And that's that. You're going to win. It's always a win-win situation when you got nothing but good, pure love and intentions towards people, bro. Don't ever enter a relationship or a situation with your hand out. Don't ever do that shit. Now, you do have to set your boundaries, though. You do have to know your worth. And if people take that as you having your hand out... They a lost soul. They a lost soul. They a lost cause. Ain't nothing you could do to help them move the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? And I don't care if it's your closest friend, family member, or a stranger you met the other day. If they take you knowing your worth and setting boundaries as you having your hand out and being weak and greedy or selfish, they not for you. Cause they clearly don't know how to do that themselves. You know what I'm saying? So when somebody else do it, they're gonna they're gonna feel intimidated. They're gonna feel like now they gotta compete or they gotta protect themselves in a way. Or or you know what I mean? And and it's none of that. It's just simple respect, you know. As going back to my conversation yesterday, you a, a person can only handle so much. You know what I'm saying? So it's never you having your hand out, it's you knowing your worth, you knowing what your time is worth your skills you know what i'm saying and that's that and like i said it don't always have to be money it could literally just be a, a bond and a, and a wonderful friendship but if that friend is constantly calling you for favors calling you for rides calling you because they always need something they always need something they always need to complain and vent to you but the minute you call and it's like yo i just need a 
I just need to get away. I just need to come chill. And they not there for the slightest thing. You already know what it is. You can't change nobody, y'all. All you could do is make them see. And, and, and they'll take it how they take it. But eventually, later on in life, they're going to understand. But it's always going to be too late. And that's going to be their lesson. You know, and, and we don't always have to be somebody's teacher. You don't have to always intentionally teach somebody. But you simply moving on is going to teach them a lesson. Trust and believe that. I learned that shit with... with, with I, I'm going to be real. I really learned that shit with, with a job. And then I just applied that shit... To Talk life to in God. general, in relationships, but I learned I learned that simple shit from a job. You, you you can't be nobody's teacher, and I simply I learned that because I got fired from a job because I was I was trying to help somebody be a better uh, person at their job. You know what I'm saying? And they took it the wrong way. They flipped shit on me, and and you know I'm the bigger person. I'm the more aggressor. So. I get fired, but I, I learned I can't be everybody's teacher because whatever happened to that person later in life, they clearly learn they lesson later on by still acting that way and still having that mindset. You you think you could do everything on your own, everything on your own, but we all lack something. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be taller than you or stronger than you and you constantly want to grab the heaviest box off the top shelf and you get mad when somebody helps you. All right, eventually, motherfuckers is going to leave you alone and let that shit fall on you and not help you up. And you're going to learn your lesson eventually. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's really all it is. It's, it's okay to move on from people. And that's how they could learn their lesson. You moving on and moving different and you pretty much not giving a fuck no more and that is gonna hurt them the most because you cared so much life is crazy bro life is literally everything opposite is how it works like Talk to him, that's really all it is everybody feels like the weak person when they when they always so nice and and giving everything off their back but guess what the minute you switch up watch how the universe and karma treats you bro it's really it, life is so easy but people make it so difficult and that's just what it is relationships friendships businesses they all could be so easy but people make it so difficult because they 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 want to try to skip rules and steps and it's like bro you really have to follow all the rules communication you gotta listen and 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 that's not only listening it's your tone it's the way you present things it's how you say things it's the way you use words it's a lot that goes into communication because there's a lot of people out here with different mindsets you know what i'm saying once you learn how to communicate then you learn how to to do things you know what i'm saying but you can't it, people try to skip the step of communication but don't want to be businessmen and women and and, and do all this extra shit, but y'all don't even know how to speak up when when you when something's wrong, or you don't know how to speak up when you don't like something. Talk to him, but want to talk bad about everybody and and expect business to keep flowing. <laughs> like what be wrong with y'all, yo? But yeah, I'm gonna make this a little venting at work with me video. So right now I'm picking up an order. I do spark driving. Um, it, it's pretty good. It pays the bills. Gives me extra money. I've been doing it a little over a year. So let me show y'all. This is where you park and shit. And then I'm going to screenshot the app or whatever and block everybody's addresses. And so I put a little screen recording up. I'm going to try to blur out the people's names and addresses just because it's disrespectful. And then these people are going to uh, bring the groceries out, load the car up. And um, I'm going to go off and deliver the groceries. And... I'm going to just keep talking to y'all and vibing with y'all. It's going to be a nice little work with me, vent with me, all types of shit, whatever. I'm just getting my shit off. I really don't care at this point. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care how nobody feels. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing what I like to do. I use The reason I started making a YouTube for real, for real, is because I will always be on Snapchat years ago just talking my shit, ranting. And I feel like people take that as ranting on Instagram or whatever. So I'm like, fuck it. Let me make YouTube videos and shit. 
So yeah, here they are. They about to bring the groceries out. And we about to load the car up. So yeah. But yeah, my bad. So I had to scan the orders and stuff. I'm recording on my phone right now. I didn't want to bring a big ass camera while I'm driving and stuff. So, but yeah, back to what I was saying was the real reason I started a YouTube channel was because um, I would talk I would talk my opinion on things, whether it be my life experiences, shit going on politically, social media, whatever. And it just seemed that a lot of people got offended on how I felt or whatever I spoke on, whether they fit the shoe or whether they just didn't agree with my beliefs or whatever the case may be. It just, it, people started acting mad funny, especially people I knew personally. So I was like, let me do something to where I can still get my shit off and be myself and do what I want to do without people feeling the way. Whoever wants to watch could watch. You know what I'm saying? And that's the beauty of YouTube. Instagram is kind of like, you watch my shit, you're going to see some shit you probably don't want to see. But on top of that, I always, I keep telling myself I'm old, I'm old, I'm old. I'm 30. I'm getting there. But what I fail to realize is the time era I grew up in. And I, I, I beat myself up a lot because I feel old because a lot of this social media stuff going on right now is is with younger kids and stuff. So I'd be like, damn, how am I going to fit in? But I grew up when computers start started being a thing. Like, I remember when AOL was something. I remember when AOL first came out, bro. I remember when the internet was first the internet and... We was on AOL, AIM, chat, all that shit. So I'm like, this is what I do. This is, I'm, I'm not old, I'm not too old for this era. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, and I know that might seem old to some of y'all. Seeing that I, I witnessed the internet become the internet and AOL. A lot of y'all probably don't even know what AOL is. Ask your parents. They probably met in chat rooms or some shit. But yeah. So basically what I'm saying is, is that I don't care how old you feel or how out of the loop you feel. There's opportunities out here for everybody. We in the day and age of the internet, social media and shit. So I had to tap into myself and kind of cut it out a little bit and be like, yo, you grew up during this whole era. You seen this shit become what it is be a part of it you know what i'm saying so i feel like why do i have to keep my mouth shut because certain people are intimidated or feel away because they don't know how to voice their own opinions why do i gotta stop being me and and feeling how i feel you know what i'm saying so the end of the day fuck all y'all motherfuckers who ever felt the way about me just doing me because a lot of y'all are fucking sad that's just what i'm I'm gonna leave it at that a lot of y'all are really really sad and the fact that y'all can't think for yourself speak for yourself be in tune with your emotions or any of that don't fucking come for me because i am i always have been i always been the kid to speak my mind and i'm gonna be the grown woman to speak my mind and that's just what i i made this youtube for you know what i'm saying so whoever comes to this channel if you don't like it leave and if you can't be a real one and comment below for the public to see why you can't respect me or whatever then be a real one maybe i'll have a little bit more respect for you but other than that a lot of y'all are clowns and i'm not worried about it but i just want this this message and video is kind of everywhere um i'm kind of just venting and ranting i feel like i haven't made an in-depth video on why i'm actually doing youtube and um, what it's doing for me. This shit is low-key therapy for me. Um, I like to hold a lot of shit in and beat myself up for how I feel. And at the end of the day, I need to embrace that more. And I need to stand in my own self and my in my shoes more and and just be me, you know? Stop being who other people want me to be. And other people want me to be a quiet person because <laughs> they know I work hard. They know I'm I'm all about learning. So even if I I put something I do something that's not the best, I can always get better. And I'm not afraid 
of I'm not afraid of constructive criticism. And I've had a lot of people around me that are afraid to give it. And I can't have y'all around because that means you're afraid to see me grow. And that shit is whack as fuck to me. So make sure y'all just doing everything that you need to do for you. And I know that sounds selfish as fuck, but as long as you are still giving that 50% we talked about, give 50%. Talk give fifty percent. Okay? Continue to give fifty percent. That's it. Give fifty percent, and if the other person can't come halfway, then that's that. You did what you had to do. You had pure intentions. You had good intentions. You're a good person. You have a good heart. You know, there's nothing bad that you can say about these people, or that you would want to say about these people. So by you being that person. They can never shit on you. Talk it's to gonna them, eat them up because they burnt that bridge. They went behind your back. They didn't believe in you. You know what I'm saying? All that whack shit, we don't need that shit around us. And I've been surrounding myself around that shit for over fucking 10 years, over 15 years. I've been surrounding myself with that. And that's why I literally talk to maybe two friends on the regular and these friends are childhood friends drake won't lie when he said no new friends it's cool it's only a few that's gonna last you know what i'm saying and that's no shots at nobody i've met a lot of people throughout my life so if anybody feels a way that's on you like i said if the shoe fits i can't do nothing about that i can't make you change your mind because i've met a lot of people and I've had a lot of people cross me. So this is to nobody specific. This is just my life experiences and how I'm moving forward and the boundaries I've had to set. And this is just what I've been working on on my journey. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's just it. I'm ranting. Like I said, this is what I need to start doing because this is why I made a YouTube channel. So <laughs> Other than that, I hope y'all got the message. I hope you see where I'm coming from. I hope you protect your energy, protect your love, protect your heart, because a lot of people out here are trying to damage you. They're trying to bring you down. They don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you just be happy doing what you love to do, whether that's a cashier, working at a warehouse, doing construction, being an artist, whatever the fuck it is you want to do, do it be happy with it and i don't care how anybody else feels because the the reason they feel away is because they're not doing something that they love or they're just not in tune with themselves so they gotta they gotta leech energy from everybody else and you don't need that so y'all yeah, have a blessed day work hard share this video like it up subscribe you know how we coming i told you we coming strong I'm trying to keep it consistent for y'all. We got other channels that we trying to grow to. So make sure you subscribe to Babe's channel, the couple's channel. And yeah, we, we, we about to run it up, yo. We doing what we want to do. And I don't care who feels away. I still shoot music videos. I still do photo shoots. So if you need that, hit me up. Make sure you have a budget. Budget is the key when you hit me up. I don't do $200 videos, especially if you want me to travel out of state. I don't do that. So... Nah, hit me up if you real, if you serious. We all about that. We all about networking. We all about building. We all about getting out here, traveling, meeting new people, working with people. I personally, I'm from New York originally. I've spent time in Virginia, so I've met people from the DMV area. I know y'all don't include Virginia in the DMV. I don't get all that. I'm not from there. I'm out here in Colorado. I've met people in Denver. I'm all about networking. So if you meet me, I'm going to try to connect you with people I've met all across the world. That's just how I am. I'm not gonna keep my connection stingy. You may be able to work and connect with somebody more than I could have. They could just simply be on my Instagram con connects, contacts, you know what I'm saying? So you might really actually be able to work with them. And that's where I feel I'm not about to hold on to any contacts or resources that I have if I'm not using them currently when somebody else could. 
that's the whole point of networking that's the whole point of your team eating you feel me if you can't bring finances to the table make sure you bring resources to the table that's how it works supply demand i don't understand y'all you know what i'm saying so keep those people in Talk your circle some, not anybody who's just trying to get shit from you and and don't want to see you grow bruh motherfuckers won't are afraid to tag you in a post get rid of them that's whack social media is the new way of growing they don't want to see you grow and it sounds silly if they don't tag you if they think it sounds silly then they're not serious about this business this is the business nowadays so if they don't want to do the little silly simple things get rid of them get the fuck out of here i don't care if you got to work alone it's all going to work out, yo. You're going to get to where you need to get to. I'm speaking to myself. I'm speaking to you. And we just need to keep manifesting everything we want. It's going to come. Peace and love, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video.